Out of that. All right, we are recording. Okay, so we're here at Al Dupuis' house looking at the lights. And uh, pretty impressive display, Al. Thank you. How'd you get started on all this? I'm with my friend Rupert here, who's going to take take us through here a little bit as I uh, explain how this all started. It pretty much, uh, it pretty much started with this with this runway concept here. Really, um, I wanted, uh, I had, I had uh, some of these changer lights that I purchased, and I decided to put them in a. I call it a runway look on each side. As you can see, the swans are in the middle there. Uh, there's a pink bush before it. I've got um, Noel and Snow that I put in the front front of the whole thing. Uh, those changer lights that are you see now, they're changing to uh, like the I, they look like suckers or lollipops, and they go to another runway lead up to another one which is uh, made of candy canes and at the end of it and I've got some lights in between and at the end of it are two big candy canes that are seven feet tall and there's an angel at the end this whole concept basically started with that idea and I built around it south of it north of it east of it west of it and everything else I'm just panning here this is my neighbor's property over here. That's all my work on the neighbor's property. Now, how'd you get your neighbor involved in the uh, whole process, Al? I got the neighbor involved because he knew he wouldn't have to do anything. So, I mean, why not allow me to do it? And uh, so, I just needed property, and and he just watches me go. So, everything that's over here on his property is mine. All except the little tiny white lights on top of the porch. The candy canes are mine. Everything. This bush here is, uh, it's, uh, I think that color is teal. Okay. It's, it's, I think that's between blue and green. Some people call it aqua. Yeah, it really helps to have this extra. What, is that a giraffe I see up there? Yeah, there's a giraffe right there. There's a palm tree that I just added. It's rafted next to the palm tree. Uh, there's a cow. There's a penguin. And there's a goose. And then over here to the left of the teal lighted bush or whatever, that's an Elmo. That's one of them Sesame Street dudes. Oh, yes. And then uh, I put candy canes around the side of the of the, of the porch uh, these blue lights that go up the steps they're all mine and over here we have Santa Claus and the two snowmen and if you look you can see Rupert the uh, Santa Claus's hand is going up and down so he's waving yeah there's a tremendous amount of color in this L what what gave you the idea to put all these different colors and solid colors? And I'm big on solid. Uh, I much prefer solid colors and solid spots. If you look around, I don't use a lot of multi. But I'm not crazy for multi. I've never been. Right. Like, for instance, the bush, the first bush is white, which is an off-white. The next bush is blue, the next bush is green, and the next bush is purple. Right. And then you go to the rose bush, which is red. Yeah, that looks really great. And then you get those falling, dripping lights or whatever. It looks like water, I guess, or waterfalls. That's an effect that you get by putting those types of lights on those trees. Are those new this year? No, I had them last year, but I left them on the trees by mistake and, and ruined them, so I had to purchase more. And I was lucky that Costco had more. Okay, I think those look a little different from... What are some of the new things that you've added this year? Uh, this dog is new. Oh, yeah. The dashing dog right down here. 
Um, this is new. The guy on the roller coaster, sleigh, whatever. Right. Looks like a roller coaster, the snowman. That's new. Um, the cookie monster is new. There's a cookie monster right there next right. to the cat. I had the cat last year. Right. Uh, Snoopy on, uh, looks like he's on his own house, but he's actually on my little well. He's new. The reindeer, uh, Rudolph, is not new, but uh, I don't know where I had him last year. He wasn't that visible. He's very visible there. Oh, yes. But where I put that pink deer, to me, it's awesome. Because the way I had those, I had two of them last year opposite each other. And I didn't like the way they were placed. But the way that that deer is set up, to me it almost looks like he's got his head pointed up to the sky. Right. And those raindrops are kind of like coming down on him. It looks like a unicorn. Yeah, I was going to say that. It looks as if the pink deer and the dripping lights from the tree are kind of interacting. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I was lucky when I when I had that spot available and I took him out. To me, he just fit there. And to me, of of everything that's on this side, other than the can, giant candy canes with the angel in the middle, from what's on this side, the thing that appeals to me the most is that unicorn looking pink deer underneath that tree that's one of my favorite things of everything i just like it yeah that's what i meant to ask you too is what what your favorite things are so that's one of them for sure oh yes that that deer there underneath that dripping tree is i don't know i'm going to see if i can zoom in on them here i got a i got a zoomer on this thing you know it just seems from what you're saying that you pretty well thought everything out as you put it. It isn't just you didn't just put up a bunch of stuff, but you uh, not built seem to that. have thought things out in some yeah. sort of pattern. Yeah, it's the way the way I do my business. It's uh, you know I uh, I'm kind of calculated in the way I do everything. I run classrooms that way. I played music that way. I try to stay one step ahead of everybody. I want a positive reaction in what I do, and so I I try my best to, to, to make my brain come up with ideas that maybe someone else wouldn't. I'm kind of creative. Um, I did that when I was a songwriter. I, I played music the same way. I ran my club, ran the bar, ran the crowds that way. Tried to stay a step ahead of them, you know, to lead them. In, 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 in what I thought was going to be entertainment. To me, this is entertainment. When people come here and see this, they're entertained. Yeah, you seem to be a step ahead of the uh, decorating crowd here, I would say. Well, someone said to me last night, they were here, and the lady said, you know, I'd love you to come, and I have a great big tree, and I'd like you to decorate my tree. <laughs> and I said, well, you never know. I'm not going to do it this year, but I, I'm not against doing it. You'd have to get the stuff, and I'd have to be paid for my work. But the bottom line is, is that uh, you get me the stuff I'd want you, you know, that, 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 that I think you need to have for this tree. And then uh, you, all you've got to do is let me do the job. It sounds like you could practically go into business, but then again, where would you get the time? Uh, I don't think this is something I'd want to do as a business. Yeah. This is a passion and uh, the business would take the fun out of it. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. It's not likely I'm going to do it, what I'm trying to tell you. So in terms of the reaction by the people that keep driving by, so several have driven by just while we were talking, what, what are they looking at the most, or what seems to be catching people's eyes the uh, most this year? Well, those, the dripping trees really, really captures a lot of people. First of all, it's, it's high up, for one thing. It's something that's up in the air, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten feet. I had to put those lights up with a pole. I had to get up on a, on a ladder, a step ladder, and someone hold it so I couldn't break, well, wouldn't break my neck. And so that, that, just that tree alone took four or five hours of work. Right, yeah, you, don't, you don't do that in 20 minutes. So you can't get out there and just say, well, hey, I'm just going to go and string these lights up. There has to be, and then once they go up, you have to try to position them so they make sense. Right. If they're not coming straight down or close to straight down, then the effects go the wrong way. 
Now the garage, I've added quite a bit to the garage this year. Uh, you see those uh, blue and off-white flashing lights on the top of it there? Right. Below yeah. the two reindeer and the sleigh? Yeah, I see those. Well, last year they weren't there and, and I don't know, I think it's a nice effect. Mm, that's look good. And I've got the blue the blue stars which are down there and, and then I've got some dripping uh, I guess, I don't know, uh, Oh, icicle lights or whatever, and those are two sets of multi, and and they're 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 dripping from the top there. Oh, right, I see those. Yeah, yeah. and then there's a there's a wreath on the garage door. Actually, you and I set that sucker up. That's right, I remember that. Yeah, me and you did that. Yeah, there's a lot back there that kind of frames in the rest of the picture, or to me it does. Yeah, it does. It, it is sort of a connection between the house and everything that's on this side. It, it does act... If there was nothing on that garage, it would, it would definitely lack because there wouldn't be a connection. Right. Part of the uh, thinking, thinking it through process, I think. I wouldn't walk over there if I were you. I'd, I'd stay down here, please. Now, the front is a, is a totally different look. So, as I told the, the fellow from the Courier who was in here last night, I think, to me, there's three separate sections. This one is kind of like carnival. Right. So you could find anything over here, right? right? Anything from a deer to a bear to a goose. to So it's kind of a carnival thing. A giraffe. Yeah. Whereas the front is gold, primarily, right. and I find that it's kind of a gingerbread look. Okay. Yeah. And it's gold, and those candy canes along the bottom of the porch accent everything. I started with that idea. I started with those candy canes, and then I worked up from there. Right. And there's a lot there. What's new there this year? Uh, this tree in the front looks different to me. No, the rhododendron in the front is the same as last year. Okay. It's got red and green lights on it with candy cane. Uh, they're actually steak candy canes and I removed the steaks from them. Right. So everything on that tree, as you can see, is green and red. The pigs, I got two pigs over here. Notice the pigs a while ago. No, they're right there. I don't remember seeing those last year. No, nope, they, they were weren't here. Last year, no. They weren't here last year. There's two pigs right there. They're sitting right on the railing of the porch. The the wreath, and I tried different things in the wreath. I tried multicolored lights, and I settled on blue and white. Hmm, that's so, a different looking wreath. Yeah, it, yeah. it is. And I like it, and my wife likes it, so... It's blue and white, but it's off-white, not, not, not uh, icy white. And then, of course, you have those snowflakes that are flickering in there. And then, as you can see, those in, inside the porch plus outside the porch are those dripping lights, the right. same as is on those trees. Yeah, that, ties, that kind of ties the gingerbread to the carnival part, I guess. I guess it does, yeah. It, it creates a connection. Uh, I see over here, I kind of didn't talk about that tree. It's a tree that's got off-white lights on it, and it goes through all kinds of patterns. And it's in the, well, it's in the shape of a tree, and it's got a star on the top. Right. And the, and, and the, the star continues to, to rotate or whatever, but the tree goes through all kinds of patterns. That's more or less part of the runway effect, I guess. Is it, it, it is, it is, yeah, it's close to the runway. And then the polar bear that are right there, the baby right. one and the mother one, yeah. are two of my favorite items. Right, nice there. I've had them for about four years, and they're two of my very favorite items. Really like those. That, that's a lot of lights. How can they buy that many? Look how much water over here. He's a French teacher. What? Over here, I added the dogs. So there's two pigs on that end, 
and there's two dogs in the head end okay. of the porch. This whole side looks kind of different again, as if there was sort of a different effect over here. Well, this side here has become my favorite side. This is the north side, and there were two trees that were there. We cut them down. They were up in the air, and they were up against those lines. One's a power line, one's, I think, telephone. And now we got rid of them. And this opened this whole side up. Right, yeah, I see the difference, for sure. And so I decided to make it an Arctic look. Like, if you look at this, it's all white. Right. Other than accents of blue on the guy's head or, or uh, a little gold in the antlers. Or, but, I mean, this is primarily a, a white Arctic grotto look. Right, yeah, it's a totally different look. Oh yeah, it's, it's a different nice. look, all right. Well, there are the drifting lights again. There seem to be yeah. sort of two trees, yeah, everything back. Yeah, there's two trees here, but the dripping lights. There's one on the other side, but two here. Now, is that star changing uh, tree the same as the one on the other yeah, side? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's the same. So last year, there. yeah, last year they were on opposite sides of the runway, yeah. and I decided to take one of them and bring them over here. Right. So over here you've got a doe that moves her head up and down here. You've got a buck that moves his head from side to side. And then you have other deer. And then you've got snowman and you've got all kinds of stuff. There seem to be more animals over here. Is this more about animals over here? I guess so. See it? Yeah, yeah, but it, 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 the idea with me over here wasn't that it had to be an animal. The idea over here, because a snowman is not an animal. There's right. one, two, three, four, there's five snowmen over here. Right. There's five snowmen, one polar bear, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven deer. It's, it's the look. So uh, it's I, the I, Arctic Grotto. Is yes, more of the yes. Thematic, uh, yes. Icy white. I want. I wanted whatever's over here. I didn't really care what what it was, but it had to be icy white. For instance, those those geese that are in that runway, right. they they would fit perfectly over here. They would fit perfectly over yes, here. Yes. Yes. And look nice over there, I think. Yeah. Or I guess you would do too. Since but I have another set there. if I if I wanted to pull them out and, and assemble them. Right. And I'd put them right there in the front. Yeah, that's a good uh, thing I was wondering about. A good question is, uh, what else have you got to bring out, or are you going to bring more out? Probably not this year. No. Uh, I pretty much got out what I want. Uh, I've got a, I got a, uh, a hockey player that I'm even wondering whether I want to assemble. Because once it's assembled, then I'm going to want to put it. But where do I put it? Right. The problem is, is that if it doesn't fit. I ain't putting it up. So maybe I should just leave it in the box. And maybe next year, when I try something a little different, there'll be a spot for the hockey player. All right. So in your mind, every everything that's out here fits somehow into a, a pattern that is... Pretty much unless... In your mind. Yes. The only thing that, that, that kind of gets away from that is my wife. Like, for instance, that peacock that's sitting there, she put it together and she assembles quite a bit of stuff for me so once that's assembled I gotta put it somewhere right so okay so she assembles it and I'm going well that's gotta go someplace I tried all kinds of spots for that peacock I tried that top of the porch there didn't like it tried over there didn't like it it ended up this is the best place for it am I sold that that's where it's supposed to be no I can live with it there it does look nice there. I think it does, but it's the fit, I guess, that you're concerned but, with. But I don't know how to better explain this. If if my wife is sort of determined that something needs to go somewhere, then I will put it there. It doesn't mean that I'm a hundred percent sold that it should be. Right. Because the ideas are coming out of my head. The ideas are not coming out of you. The ideas are not coming out of her. They're coming out of here. Right. I look at a, 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 a spot on the property. I sort of know kind of what I'm looking for in that spot. I know what I got up there in the loft. I know what I got in boxes. I know what's assembled. I look at the spot and I think, okay, that, that would be a good spot for a teddy bear.
of that color. Right. When that teddy bear, which, you, which you're looking at right there, to me, that's the perfect spot for that teddy bear. Right. You can clearly see that's a teddy bear, and the color that he is, or she, it sort of offsets the white on that bush and the blue. Yeah, there's a lot here about matching colors or, yes. or somehow colors that fit together and and accentuate each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. It, it, there, there, there's just it either works or it doesn't work. Like for instance, that blue tree that you're looking at right there. Right, I see the blue tree. I like those trees. I'm not sold on that blue. I like the pink one. Love it. I like the uh, green one. Love it. The white one. Love it. But the type of lights that are on that blue are powerful. It's, right. It's, 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 it's a strong blue. Right. And I'm not sure that that blue really fits there. I can live with it. But no one's ever said to me, oh, that blue tree doesn't fit there. No. The average person wouldn't think in those terms. No, no they wouldn't. Uh, in my opinion. No, they wouldn't. And then you've got the side of the house. I mean, you're the one that climbed up there and put those lights up on the dormies. Right. Uh, those are an off-white look. Uh, along the, I guess, what is that? Eaves? Is that what they the call eaves, that? Yeah, the eaves where the color-changing lights are. Those color-changing lights. Yeah, those are pretty impressive. They go, yeah, they change, they change color. They go back and forth. Now, I've got a, a, a remote control that can actually get them to do one of, I think it's 12 patterns. Wow. Yeah. So do they always do this pattern or do you change uh, it from time uh, to time? No, I like the pattern. Yeah. It, to me, it's the best one of the bunch. That pattern seems to work well. I can get them to come this way. I can get them to flicker. I can, oh, this has got 12 or 13 different things they will do. <laughs> but that's the one I like the most. Yeah. And then the side of the house has got stars on it and, and then, of course, some of the things are inside that I turn on. Okay, I see. Yeah, I, see, see I see some like things the windows, in the windows there. Yeah. There's four windows there that got four things in them. There's four windows at the top that got four things in them. Right. And are those things in the windows I see at yes. the front there? Yes. Right. Yes. Those things over here, they're all inside. And on the top of the front of the house is about the one place where you've gone to a multicolored look. It looks pretty good, but what was your thinking on that? It works. Yep. There are people that love multicolored lights. Right. And I don't dislike multicolored lights. Right. It's just that I prefer the yeah. straight the straight one color look. Right. But that works. With with this look in the front. That definitely works. Mm, it does. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if I'd have gone solid color there, it wouldn't have worked. It works better. This works better. Now, last year I seem to recall, Al, that you had some people over here one evening. Are you planning to do anything like that again? Like some people came over and sang a Christmas carol? or? No, nah, not part of the plan right now. No. Last year had uh, town council, the mayor, MLAs, Police have had them all here. Yeah. Ben Elms was here from the school, my principal, and so on. Uh, that isn't part of the plan this year. I haven't asked them. I've been too busy. Uh, maybe next year. I imagine most of them will make their way here uh, anyway, since they were able to enjoy this last year. Well, some of them, some of them have already been here, I and I so. imagine that many of them will get here. But that's pretty much it, uh, Rupert. I've added. Uh, those geese in the front here. Right. Yeah. There's a, a, a goose and uh, two little babies. But this side here, I have to say, and I put some wreaths in the in the windows, as you can see. Right. Um, this side here is my favorite. Oh, that's good. I'm... I like this. I really like this side. This is totally different than uh, I've ever seen before here, so it looks really good. I'm just going to zoom, so I'm gonna zoom yeah. in and see this what... This must be about the... This must be the biggest display in this town. I'm sure it is just from driving around. Uh, I mean, my guess is that it is. They tell about, me it is. I don't know about the rest of the area around southwestern Nova Scotia, but certainly it's the biggest one. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think it's the biggest one around. Yeah. Certainly in Digby. 
from what I've heard, there's nothing in Annapolis or Bridgetown or or anything around that touches this. But not in Annapolis for sure. I mean, uh, there's nothing. You know, even but I mean, uh, that's that's the impression I'm getting that this is the biggest round. And the other thing, of course, that this has going for it is the tremendous amount of variety in color as well as items. Well, I think, yeah, I think there's something here to appeal to, appeal to pretty much anyone. Uh, that's the thing, you know, with certain things that I've seen, uh, it might appeal to some money, but not... I've got a whole mixed bag here. I mean, that's... Anybody who likes this type of style, and there's lots that do, they can fill their boots with this. Some just love the rhododendron and just go on and on about it. And the gingerbread look in the front of the house, which is totally different than that. Or you can come over here and you got the carnival. You know, I call it that, but I mean, it's, it's got every bag of tricks over here you can think of. It's a mixed bag. Yes, there's probably the biggest variety is over here. Just oh, yes. Oh, no question, your I variety's over here. that's partly because of the way that it's developed. Yeah, it's the way it's been developed, yeah. 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 And then I have the donation box oh, yeah. right here. And but this needs to be what this needs to be is uh, is is to help with the power, and that's the reason why that I put it there. Right. You wouldn't want to buy another Christmas light, would you? Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> These are all LED lights, right, Al? No, they're not. They're about eighty-five percent. Oh, okay. They're about eighty-five percent LED and maybe fifteen percent uh, oh, okay. uh, regular. But certainly the LED helps to offset the power. That's I for sure. I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a pretty great display. Well, thank you, and uh, we'll we'll shut this down for for now. And uh, thanks for thanks for your help in this. Oh, thanks for explaining everything to me. It's You're welcome. Great. Thank you. Good night.